Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, uh, so this truck from is from last video. Um, if you guys do recognize it, um, it's from the video of where uh, Texans can't drive in icy conditions. And of course that was me behind the wheel. And it came off its dash cam, of its dash cam that has integrated in the vehicle. Pretty nice truck, but let's talk about this one. Very nice one. This one's very, very nice. So let's talk about it. Now, it's not a truck review but amazing truck it's a radar detector review so let's talk about this truck guys well let's talk about that truck again so that truck was my rental while this truck got here and that truck overall what's a great truck you know was it my favorite truck uh not really uh there's a couple things i did not like first of all was the gas tank it was a 1920 gallon gas tank had to fill up daily 50 bucks daily it was a uh twin turbo v6 uh which was eh, in my opinion kind of under power and don't get me started on the miles per gallon i was getting 15 miles per gallon highway so you guys tell me was it a good deal not in my book so i got this one right but i came in into a problem this one does not have a 12 volt plug I looked everywhere it only has USB and USB-C as well as over here it has a 120 volt uh, and then it has a USB USB-C here so yeah I was like what the hell you know um, so this one is a 23 model it comes with 40,000 miles or 40,000 miles already on it and it came with no 12 volt I was not aware of it I was not aware of it I was like, what in the world do I do? So I went to Best Buy. I saw if I could get a USB to RJ40, RJ45 um, adapter. They didn't sell it. I went to AutoZone. They didn't sell it. So I ended up getting this right here. This right here. So I'm, I made sure it was USB. And not, uh, I'm pretty sure there's one for a 120 volt. I think I saw one for a 120 volt. But I do not like, I wouldn't like to run my cable from all the way over there to all the way over here. So I'm like, USB, perfect. I'll go right here. So I'm about to install it, guys. And you guys let me know y'all's opinion on it. So. Uh, yeah, guys does not work uh i guess i'm gonna have to find another way but to be continue at this point to be honest um look at this it's blinking so I'm, there's probably not enough power or something my radar detector, my radar detector won't even turn on so uh i'm gonna let it be uh i'll have to order and RJ45 directly from the USB to the RJ45 connector and see if that works. So for right now, I'll be riding without no radar detector. To be continued, guys. And we are back, guys. Um, I'm offline, so I can't do that. Yeah. In the meantime, you can get directions, make calls. And we are back guys and i did uh finish solving the issue that i did have now to give a little recap uh main issue was uh as you guys saw was this uh newer truck does not have a 12 volt so i was able to get this three foot long adapter that's a rj11 connector that goes to my radar detector And connects directly to a USB. X band. So see. K band. K A band. Laser. So turn this off real quick. So I did get this um, this connector. I mean this this wire, this this adapter from Amazon. Uh, I think I believed uh, I searched up something along the lines of uh, radar detector USB adapter something like that it was about 18 dollars. i got it here in two days 
which in those two days was the most terrific drive for me since I felt so blinded. But I got it three feet, uh, three feet. That was more than enough for me to connect it, and I still have some slack. And overall, it's pretty cool. Um, I believe neither does Uniden or Escort Redline has a solution for this, or I don't know if they're aware of it. But there's no solution. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna become a bigger issue now since I don't, since I believe these newer trucks are are eliminating the 12 volt. Not not not, not sure really. Um, but yeah, my my main issue has been resolved for eighteen dollars. Um, like I said, guys, overall it does a job. Uh, something that I do like. I don't know if maybe I'm getting it wrong, but I do believe that. Whenever I shut off my truck, I think it shuts off after five minutes or something like that. And whenever I turn my truck on or even open the door without turning my ignition on, it turns on, which is pretty dope, but it shuts shuts off again, which is pretty cool to me. So yeah, guys, that will be your best solution for these newer trucks, cars, whatever you want to call it, um, that does not have a 12 volt. Uh, get you an adapter from Amazon for cheap, um, 16 bucks, 16, 18 dollars. And let's see how long it lasts. That being said guys, have a good one.